boarded up doors at the REI store in the Pearl. This is where police say someone used a car to break the entry door in order to steal clothing before leaving the scene. These brazen crimes are becoming more frequent across Portland. According to Portland police statistics, crime is up in the Pearl District. Starting with assaults, in 2019, 126 were reported. But this year, it's ballooned to 197 so far. Car thefts in 2019, 35 cars were stolen. This year, it's way higher at 119. But look at this. Nonviolent thefts and shoplifting was at 791 in 2019. And now it's up to almost 1,000 reports this year. And vandalism is up threefold. 139 cases back then, over 400 now. It's frustrating. I work here at REI. I also live just a couple blocks away, so seen a lot of you know changes and especially in the last couple of years um but yeah it's just it's 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 hard over at the fast track on northeast broadway this surveillance video shows two people using a white van to back into the gas station in order to get inside to steal the atm this happened early tuesday morning after getting away with that crime the suspect stopped in a parking lot on east burnside where they tried to break into another atm this caused a fire. In the Irvington neighborhood, there's been 168 nonviolent thefts or shoplifting offenses so far this year. Back in 2019, there were 131 in the first 10 months of the year. The general manager of Fast Track says crime is costing more than we realize. Uh, yes, they drove through two shelves. So they took out the monster cooler, the Red Bull cooler, uh, and the shelves that had our Frito-Lay products and our candy products as well. Dozens of business owners from the Central East Side neighborhood shared safety concerns with city leaders, including Mayor Ted Wheeler Tuesday night. Businesses like Salt and Straw say they are considering moving their headquarters outside of Portland. One of our employees on his way into the, our central kitchen was held up at gunpoint, a gun in his face as he walked in to make ice cream. Residents say they're ready for a change. Portland encourages small business. Uh, they want to see small businesses thrive. But at the same time, the spike in crime is heavily impacting small businesses everywhere. And police still need help identifying the suspects in the ATM theft at the gas station. And if you want to look at the crime stats in any area of the city, I'm going to post a link so you can check it out yourself on the story on KGW.com. Ashley. All right, Bryant, thank you. Well,